Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have the story of animated drawing. This is a Magical World of Disney episode from 1955. They turned it into its own separate thing rather than... Why isn't all of the Magical World of Disney series? Same with the Mickey Mouse Club. And so I know there's plenty of people who are out there. Where is are these things? And you know what? They can bring them back. They could, I think, uh, assuming that they've been saved and archived. There's a lot of stuff that was broadcast way back when. Uh, and this is in black and white, by the way, uh, because nobody had color TVs. I mean, the rich, maybe, if that even was a thing, but it, there was no color TVs. Uh, if these things were even uh, archived well enough, You'd only get pieces of certain seasons, uh, and some seasons, <laughs> odds are there might be something really offensive uh, <laughs> that was totally normal in 1955. That's why this episode has a warning in front of it that is like 10 seconds long that says, there are depictions of people in this that are probably not flattering. So, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I, can, I can see two of them. One with Tinkerbell. In, in frontier land and uh what's the thing they do at the very beginning to show you disneyland and everything uh and also the um the, the chinese mushroom people that that one yeah that one <laughs> doesn't age well let's just say that um yeah if you're not offended by it then, then okay great it's it's probably Probably not Asian or Native American. Anyway, uh, this little documentary, 49 minutes long, and a lot of it is full animated sequences, like the whole Nutcracker Suite uh, thing. Uh, there's Steamboat Willie. There is a, a number of older non-Disney animated things that uh, basically shows the foundation of those uh, what came before what we take for granted as animation. And for 1955, they had, honestly, Walt would, I, I just want to bring back Walt just to blow his mind on what Pixar and Disney animation is currently doing. Just, just to see, so you could see what all this looks like. I, I think he would lose his mind. In a good way, not not in a bad way. I know some people think that Walt would come back and shake his fist. He might shake his fist at a few things that Disney's doing uh, in his name. Uh, but uh, I don't think uh, the advancement of animation is one of those things. So uh, whether you like Frozen or not, we're getting a Frozen 3, by the way. If you're, whether you like Frozen or not, <coughs> it's it's this is innovative stuff. This is kind of and this shows that it shows the origin of all this stuff, going back to what it is to have a motion animated character. What was involved? Uh, to me, this kind of stuff is fascinating. Just to see the earliest of early, uh, just drawn animation and the the concept of what people did to do the simplest act of showing motion and before the 1920s essentially a lot of that was <clears throat> done in six second bursts and and hand cranked uh zeotropes and other like things that gave the illusion of an actual animated thing on film and when they really weren't on film people would line up sit in a the theater to watch a very 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 short <laughs> little animated sequence of um bathing beauties or uh just uh it's it's, it's some, or a person riding a horse things like that it's a uh, it's some it's incredible to see how this evolved uh and how we you know how we get to the point we are at now where things look almost real life in detail it's it's pretty dang incredible um so yeah th there's there's mentions of all the, he mentions i don't know if he mentions everybody that i don't i'm not an expert in this stuff uh but i appreciate it uh he, he mentions pat sullivan and max fleischer those are the names i know but there are so many more that contributed long before mickey mouse was steamboat willie and and we get yeah like i said we get to see that uh whole sequence um so yeah it's not just walt in his office showing props and talking, uh, which is still perfectly uh, pleasant. But uh, yeah, you get a full 
animated sequences in their original form um, and just to see what wowed people uh, back <laughs> 80 years ago. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty dang amazing. So, uh, yeah, I say definitely check it out. If you love animation, if you are an artist yourself, uh, and there's probably other more detailed, better, deeper looks at animation. But then again, again, the Magical World of Disney was not necessarily pointed at the audience of serious artists or cartoonists or anything else. This is meant for a Sunday night, I think, um, on the ABC television network. And uh, everybody gathered around the television and it was kids watching Walt, the guy who's about to launch Disneyland. Actually, no, he just had launched Disneyland because this came out in November and Disney opened in the summer. So yeah, this is the guy who launched Disneyland made Mickey Mouse, and he's showing us how they did it. He's showing us where it all started, and that's, to me, that is just freaking awesome. So, let's pick tomorrow's episode. 266. 266. 266. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, uh, we get another Marvel one-shot. We had one a few weeks ago, um, or whenever that was. That seems like forever ago. Uh, last month, I think. Or was it the beginning of this month? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, but it's number 266. It's a Marvel one-shot. This is... It's a really long title. A funny thing happened on the way to Thor's hammer. Yeah. I kind of cut off the Marvel part of that, but yeah, it's number 266, so you can see I'm not messing with you. 266. A funny thing happened on the way to Thor's Hammer, and this is a, uh, I believe, Phil Coulson, Agent Coulson uh, story. So yeah, uh, it's one of those bonuses that you used to see on the Blu-rays and stuff, or DVDs back in the day while they were basically pitching TV shows. Anyway, I'll talk about all this tomorrow. I shouldn't get it up. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't get into it now. Marvel one shots. A funny thing happened on the way to Mar uh, on on the way to Thor's hammer on the next Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with that.